Hello, a windy weekend ahead, especially so on Saturday. And on Saturday, it's also going to be very wet in some spots. There are warnings in force for both the wind and the rain on Saturday. More on that in just a moment, because before we get to the weekend, for many, it's a fine Friday out there, generally dry and bright with some hazy sunshine for the rest of today. This is the satellite picture. You can see a big swirl of cloud approaching. But ahead of that, we do have this window of largely dry weather. You can just see one or two light showers there on the radar, but they are fading away. Some patchy cloud here and there, but uh, for the vast majority, it's dry and it's bright. It was a chilly old start, and we've had some light winds for much of the day, but the breeze will be picking up in the west as this rain band approaches, but uh, holding off, except maybe into the Western Isles by three o'clock this afternoon. Temperature-wise, well, as I said, it was a chilly old start, but rising with the help of that uh, winter sunshine up to six, seven degrees, maybe eight or nine across the south. But the winds will also be picking up and that wet weather will move into Northern Ireland through the Russia, Western Scotland as well. Then into most of Scotland uh, through the overnight period. Parts of the northeast may not see too much rain, but in the west of Scotland, that rain really sets in and will last for most of Saturday. For the bulk of England, Wales, it's a dry night, but notice it will be a cloudier night. It may turn quite chilly quite quickly through the evening under clear skies, with temperatures dropping well down into single figures. But um, generally, it's a lot milder uh, than it was on Thursday night because of the increased cloud and because of the wind. Now, those winds will be a feature of the weather throughout Saturday. Quite a blustery day, a wet day for Northern Ireland and Western Scotland, and particularly over the hills here, that rain really starting to build up. 40, 60, maybe 80 millimetres of rain in some spots could be over the mountains, 100 millimetres of rain. That could cause some problems. So some of that rain getting into parts of Cumbria as well, again, especially over the fells and the mountains of Wales. We'll see a little bit of rain, but for the bulk of England and Wales, it's a dry day with a lot of cloud. Some sunny spells are possible across the east. It will be a mild day, though, because the winds are coming up from the southwest, bringing relatively mild air, and temperatures are likely to reach uh, double digits in most places, maybe in one or two spots up into the teens. But those winds are something of a concern because they'll be lively and also quite gusty. And it's those quick, sudden gusts that could cause some issues, particularly across parts of North Wales, North East England and South East Scotland. That's where we have a wind warning in force. Parts of the A1 in particular will be tricky for high-sided vehicles. Gusts of 50, 60, maybe 70 miles an hour at times. Uh, there'll also be some issues potentially with that rain falling over the hills and mountains of Western Scotland. So we have a, a yellow warning in force here. There is the possibility of some disruption. The rain does slowly ebb away from Scotland on Saturday evening and Northern Ireland turns drier too, but it turns wetter generally over northwest England and a good part of Wales. That rain getting into southwest England by the end of Saturday evening. That rain is from a weather front, which then heads further south on Saturday night but it should be pretty much out of the way by the time we get to Sunday. However, note it's a cold front, and so behind it, colder air is arriving on Sunday. Overall, though, it should be a much brighter day on Sunday. Many of us seeing sunny spells. There will be a chilly breeze blowing, but it won't be as strong as the wind on Saturday, and there will be a few showers. And with the colder air, those showers will be falling as sleet and snow across parts of Western Scotland. Quite a bit going on then this weekend. Keep up to date with the very latest weather warnings by following us on social media.